Hi everybody, my name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to upload images or pictures from your desktop, whether that's a PC or Mac, straight to Instagram. There's some third-party softwares out there that allow you to do this, but those are paid. The tutorial today will show you how to do this for free. Uh, my goal here today is to save you time, energy, and frustration, so let's jump straight into it. So if you want to follow along, there'll be steps down here and you can just jump to any of those steps in the YouTube video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open Google Chrome or Safari or whatever web browser that you use. I use Chrome and we're actually going to go to our Instagram account. So this is our school Instagram account that's starting uh, next fall. So I'll go to that page. You'll see that here. We have a few images up, not a lot of followers. We just opened this account maybe a month ago. In Google Chrome, you're gonna go right up here to the three dots, that's step two. So you'll click there. You'll go down to more tools and you'll click on developer tools. And what developer tools is going to allow you to do is change how you're seeing the web page that you're on. So right up here, and I'll zoom in so you can see this, you're going to see a toggle device toolbar. So when I click on this toolbar, it's going to give me the option to select what kind of device I'm actually seeing this web page on. So you'll see here I have a bunch of different phones. I have an iPad Pro, and you'll see that that'll actually move out to the size of an iPad Pro. If I change it to an iPhone 6, 7, 8 Plus, it'll be the size of an iPhone. And what you can see here is my cursor is hopefully red, but you'll see that I can move this around and essentially what this little cursor does is it gives me ability now to post to Instagram from my Mac. The third step that you need to do is you need to actually refresh this page. So we're gonna go right up here, we'll refresh this page, clicking there. And now what you'll see is you'll see Instagram like you would see on a cellular device. You go down here to the plus sign, it's going to then pull all of your images. So these are some images that we took in a meeting last week. Let's just grab this, open. You'll see now that I have the ability to move this post around. I can get the full picture there. I can rotate the image. It doesn't have all of the exact same functionality that you would use on a cellular device or your cell phone, because uh, that's what Instagram was meant for. However, a lot of times you'll have images on your computer that you need to actually put in to Instagram. So now that I have this here, I will click on next. You would go ahead and write your caption. You could add a location. You could tag specific people. Once you're done with that, you would click share and then it would go directly and update to your Instagram account. That's the final step is just clicking that share button. Again, I love you. I appreciate you and I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end, and thank you for what you do for kids on a daily basis. If this video saved you time, energy, and frustration, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share it with your teacher friends. You can subscribe by clicking up here, or you can watch another video either here or here. Again, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.